Big Three, Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. FantasyAlarm.com slash winning. Do it. You'll be happy you did. First number of the day is 92. As in the percent of snaps played last year by Matt Forte, which is a massive amount for running back in this day and age in the NFL. 92%. The Chicago Tribune is reporting that the Bears probably want to pull that number back to about 80% this year. Very fair, very reasonable, and plenty of work for him to still be a running back one in the fantasy game. And that's what I expect him to be, a running back one in the fantasy game. I know he's 30 years old. I know the offense is changing. I know he's not going to replicate the 102 catches he had last year. I know he only carried the ball for 3.9 yards to carry the worst mark of his career. I get all that. But he's still going to see a high volume of work. You look at the Bears early on. They don't have Brandon Marsh anymore. Kevin White is out with the injury. Alshon Jeffrey obviously isn't at 100% for that team. They're going to depend upon Matt Forte heavily, as they have the last few years. He's going to be a focal point of that offense for Jay Cutler to hand the ball to, to dump the ball off to. Still going to be an RB1, Matt Forte, even if he sees those snaps pull back. Not to level last season, no way, but still very good in 2015. Second number day is 66, as in the percentage of games played the last two years by Arian Foster. Yeah, Arian Foster, it sounds like we'll miss September. It sounds like he'll be back at some point from the surgery he had in his groin in October. All this love for Arian Foster, and I get it. I do get it. But let me explain a few things to you. I know he scored 13 touchdowns last season in 13 games played. That's great. He ran for 100 yards seven different times. That's really good. But he played 13 games. The year before that, he played eight games. Again, 66% of the games the past two seasons. And we already know he's probably going to miss the month of September in 2015. If you've got Foster on your team, keep your fingers crossed that when he comes back, that's the end of the injuries. Given his track record the last few years, you can't expect that to be the case. Even if Foster returns and has success... Do not give away depth you have at the running back position. You might need it later if injuries rear their head again with Arian Foster. And the final number of the day is zero, as in the number of games will be played in the month of September by Todd Gurley of the Rams. Basically a virtual certainty he will not see any action for the Rams in the first month of his NFL career. Uh, Chris Mortensen was reporting that he should be back, barring a setback, at some point in early October. That seems fair. Now, Trey Mason's a little bit beat up in the backfield. The team's got Benny Cunningham to turn to. Not an enviable position at the moment for the Rams, but Trey Mason showed himself very well in the second half of the season last year and can be someone, when healthy, that the Rams can utilize pretty significantly until Gurley is ready. Gurley has a chance to be, oh boy, an RB2 in the second half of the season, potential to be an RB1, but again, note I said the second half of the season. People that were taking him to be their running back two are going to be disappointed. Even if you took him as your running back three, can you wait? Can you hold off the losses until the point where he returns to the field and gives you that level of production? We'll have to wait and see. Again, almost a certainty that he misses the entire month of September for the Rams. Ray Flowers, Fantasy Alarm TV. Don't forget to visit us at FantasyAlarm.com slash winning or just FantasyAlarm.com. We can help you win in 2015.